push right into you, so you might want to back up. Okay, action. Make him stand on this molehill here that rotted mountains with outstretched arms, yet parted with the shadow with his hand. What? Was it you that would be England's king? Was you that reveled in our parliament and made a preachment of your high descent? Well, where are your mess of sons to back you now? The wanton Edward, the lusty George. And where's that valiant, uh, crookback prodigy Dicky, your boy, who with his grumbling voice was wont to cheer his dad in mutinies? Or, with the rest, there is your darling Rutland. Look, York. I stained this napkin with the blood the valiant Clifford, with his rapier's point, made issue from the bosom of the boy. And if thine eyes can water for his death, I give thee this to dry thy cheeks withal. Alas, poor York! But that I hate thee deadly, should lament thy miserable state. I pray thee, grieve! To make me marry, York. What, what? Hath thy fiery heart so parched thine entrails that not a tear can fall for Rutland's death? Why art thou patient, man? Thou shouldst be mad. And I, to make thee mad, do mock me thus. Stamp, rave, and fret, that I might sing and dance. Ah. <sighs> Thou wouldst be feed to make me sport. York cannot speak unless he wear a crown. Oh, yes, a crown for York. Aye. Mm. Mary, sir. Now looks he like a king. Aye. This is he that took King Henry's chair, and this is he was his adopted heir. But how is it that great Plantagenet is crowned so soon? and broke his solemn oath. As I bethink me, you should not be king till our King Henry had shook hands with death. And wilt thou pale your head in Henry's glory and rob his temple of the diadem now in his life against your holy oath? <laughs> oh, tis a fault too, too unpardonable. Off with the crown, and with the crown, his head. And whilst we breathe, take time to do him dead. That's <laughs> it.